Hi, welcome to another Studio X video. And today we are going to see how to segregate files based on the extensions. So jump to a folder where all the files are saved locally. So we have few kind of files here. As you can see, we have image files, we have PDFs, Excel files, and the PPT files as well. So what you want to do is you want to segregate these files, make folders based on the extension. So we'll have a folder called image and all the image files would be moved to that particular folder. Then we'll have a PDF folder and all the PDF extension files should be moved there. Similarly for the other extensions as well. So let's see how we can do it. So first for that, let's create a folder called sorted because here we will keep all our sorted files so here you go so this is a folder that where we want to pop all the sorted files so go to studio x and let's see whether the folder first exists or not so this is a best practice that before you create a folder through robot you first check whether it already exists or not if not then you then go and create it so you can go and search for the folder exists activity so drag it inside your workspace and the folder path is you can either browse through this particular so either you can browse or maybe if you already have it in your clipboard then you can paste the path right so click on the save button and your path has been taken so if this particular sorted folder is not already there the bot will create it for you and save result so True or false will be the result from this activity. So you can save for later use and name it as sorted folder result. Okay. So it will be either true or false. If it exists, it will be true, otherwise false. So to check whether it is there or not, we'll use an if activity to evaluate the condition and drag it after the folder exists. And then check which condition we want to check is the sorted fold folder result, which we actually save the result here. So we want to check whether it's true or false. So if it is true, this activity will be executed, which is inside the then sequence. Otherwise, the else sequence will be executed. So if the folder exists, then what we want to do, if the folder does not exist, then what we want to do, right? So if the folder does not exist, we want to create it. So go and create the folder. So let's use the create folder activity and there you go and bring it inside the else condition because if the condition is false then only we want to create the folder and what is the path we already have it in our clipboard so i'll just paste the path so this is the path that we want to create if it already does not exist so we are done with the folder structure creation now next thing we want to do is now that in this particular folder till here, all the files we want to iterate, right? So for this, we will have an activity called for each file in a folder. So if you go to the file card, you can actually find all the relevant activities here. So for each file in a folder activity is what we want to use now because you want to pick each file now. So we want to iterate each file and your current file represents which file is being processed currently in the iteration. Okay, do not click on include subfolders as of now because if you click on the include subfolders, then it's also gonna pick files from the subfolders of this directory, which we do not want yet, okay? So this is done and give the folder path where all your files are. So again, I'll give not the sorted, but till the working documents. So if you go to my local drive, so this is still the working documents is where all my file size files are, and I do not want subfolders to be iterated. So done, click on the save button. Now, once we are done with the iteration, now for each file, what we want to do is check the extension, right? So we have uh, how many types of extension? We have one, uh, two, three, and four. So it, it is a kind of a decision that the robot has to take. So we already know that if you want to take a decision, then we have an activity called a switch. So if we have more than two decisions to be taken, then we can use a switch activity and based on the expression, it will execute a path out of all, all the paths that you have given to the robot. So our expression will be if my current file extension is what I need to check. So in the expression, click on the plus button and the current file extension. 
So your current file property is taken by the expression. And so if the expression is say add a new case and if the expression is PNG, right? So if the extension is dot PNG, right? Then you want to move that particular file to the images folder, right? So similarly, let's create the other cases as well. Uh, the next is XLSX for the Excel file. So this is dot XLSX. And then similarly, sorry, we're done with this case. And the next would be dot PDF. Don't forget to put the dot and then dot pptx. We are done with that too. And yes, I guess we have one, two, three, and four types done. Now, for each of these cases, what we want to do, and all of these actions should be within each sequence. So if I click on each case, I can drop my actions, what I want you to do, right? So if the file is .png type, first thing I need to check is whether inside my sorted folder, the images folder already exists or not, right? So this is what I need to check that if the images folder already exists or not. So we will use the same approach. We will use an activity called folder exist. So folder exist. And what is your folder? Since I've already copied, I'll just paste here. If this image is folder, you can see if it exists, then whatever the result is, save it. I will use save for later use and say, we name it as image folder result. Click on OK button and then use the if condition again to check whether it's true or false, the result from this activity. So if my image folder result is true, if the folder already exists, then don't do anything. So else it means if the condition is false, then I want to create the folder. So go and click on the create folder. Okay, go and search for the create folder activity and drop it inside the else block because only if the condition is false, it means if the folder not exist, then only want to create it. Again, click on plus button and you can provide the path here itself and click on the save button, right? Okay, so we are done with the checking whether the folder is there or not. So now we have to move the file. Move the file, we have an activity called move file. You can find all of these activities inside this file card. So move file is what we're gonna use now, right? So from where we want, so as you can see, we are at a current file. So suppose if, let me go back, if this is my current file, so in the next iteration, this will become my current file. So it's, it's actually looping. So if my current file, file full path is what I'm gonna pick to move. So click on the plus button and say current file full path. So from where you want to move is from still here, the, the directory and your file name is what the full name includes full path uh, property of your current file is gonna give. Okay, so where you want to move, you want to, to move to that particular folder, right? Which is the images folder. You can directly say, to click on the plus button and go to the text and I'll just paste the same path that we just now created, which was the inside the sorted and the images folder. So I've given the directory path. Now, one thing that you have to make sure while working with the move file activity is inside the from, you have to give a full file path. It means directory plus file path with the extension. So, and yeah, and in the two, you only have to give give the path to the directory, okay? So this is the only trick while you're working with the move file. Now we are done. So while iterating, if the file type is .png, it will check if the image folder already exists. If it does not exist, it will create one and move the file. 
to that particular folder. Now we want to repeat these activities for the other extension as well. So let's just copy these activities. And paste them here. Okay, so let's do the tweaking also. Uh, let me just paste in all the sequences first. And then we'll do the changes, the small changes. So this is something called a reusable thing because we have to do the same thing in all the cases. Okay, so the folder exists. What we have to check is now not the images folder, but a Excel folder. So let me just create one more folder called as Excel. And there you go. This is the path that you are checking whether it exists. So just change the path that you're checking. Okay, and you can leave as it is the save result. It, it does not matter if you want to rename it or not, it's fine. And in the if condition, you are checking the result, whether it's true or false. If it's false, then you want to create the folder. Again, we have to change the path. So Excel path is what we have to give now. And move file is again, uh, it will take the full file path of your file. And again, we have to change the path from the images to the Excel folder. Okay, so now we are done with the Excel part. Now, next thing we have to do, same with the PDF thing. So let me create again one more folder called as PDF. And now this is the path that we need to check whether it exists or not. So click on the plus button and click text. And this is a path that you are checking. And if it does not exist, then you want to create that path or the folder, then paste the same path here. And then the, in the move, move file as well, change where you want to move. So if the file is of type XLSX or the PDF, then you want to move it to the PDF folder, right? So right now it is images and make it a PDF folder. Similarly for the PPTX, what we're gonna do is go to text, and go to your local folder inside the sorted we have a new folder called ppt and this is the path the bot has to check whether it exists or not so there you go the ppt and again in the if condition create a path of ppt folder so there you go click on the save button then again in the move file we're going to move is go to text and there you go. Done. We are done with the automation workflow. We are checking if the fol folder or the subfolder already exists. If they don't, we create it and then we move the file based on the extension. You can keep the default use case as it is. So if any of the extension does not match, then this uh, gets executed. So uh, we do not have any such cases of now, so we can leave it as it is. Okay, so now let's create one or, or just open one more explorer window and let's see how the things will work. So uh, let me also just delete the sorted folder and let bot create it. Okay, so we have these files. Right, so there you go. And these are the files. Okay, the sorted should not exist now. Go back, yes. Let me copy the same path and paste it here. Okay, so we are in the same directories. We will just, you will not see how the sorted folder will be created and the other subfolders will be created. Click on the run button and let's see the bot execution. Okay. 
transaction was successful, it was quick. We have the sorted folder and then we have the other subfolders as well. In the Excel, we have the Excel files. In the images, we have all the images. In the PDF, we have all the PDFs and in the PPT, we have all the PPT. So it was just in the blink of the eyes, you have actually segregated your files. So yeah, that's all for today. Thank you.